You know, as I sit here looking out over Washington, D.C., over the center of worldly power, I can't help but think what it must have been like for the early Christians as they looked out over Rome as well. And to think in all of its beauty and in all of its glory, just like Rome, it'll all someday come to an end. Someday all worldly comforts and worldly powers crumble into the ruins that every old culture had. This will end. And every time this thought comes to us, every time we think about this, we can't help but also think that someday we'll meet him. We'll meet Jesus Christ. We'll meet the one who doesn't crumble, whose power is eternal. At the end of the Hail Mary, when we pray to his mother, we even say, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. See, our Lord comes not only to show his mercy, but also his justice. At the end of all things, at the end of time, as we get ready for Advent, we think about what will it be like when we meet him? And it makes us question, is he at the center of my life? Do other concerns and distractions occupy my time and my thought all the time? Or does he occupy my thoughts more than anything else? So this is the challenge this week. As we get ready for Advent, go to confession. Make a great confession. Speak to our Lord with absolute trust. Speak to the one who someday you'll meet, I'll meet. Think of confession as a dress rehearsal for death. We put on our true self, and God sees us in all of his mercy and forgives us. What better way to prepare for Christmas? Don't forget to subscribe here for the Two Minutes to Virtue weekly challenge and take the challenge every week.